Hi everyone, welcome to the 10th video in the series of algorithm animations. If you have not checked my playlist till now or you are coming to this video for the first time, go and check my playlist. I have covered all the important algorithms with the animations. Let's start. I am Shreyansh Jain. As always, let's see the algorithm first to get a quick overview of what we will be doing in our animation. We will traverse the array and put zeros at the left hand. Like if we get a zero while traversing, we will put it at the left hand. And if we get a two, we will put twos at the right hand. So if we put zeros at the left hand and twos at the right hand, so automatically one will be remaining, which will be in the middle. So our whole algorithm is this. Let's see the animation. This problem is also called Dutch national flag if you don't know. We have an array and we need to sort it and we will sort it in a single traversal without using any sorting algorithm. To make it easier to understand, we will color the array. Let's suppose we will put 0 to blue color one with green color and two with yellow color and we will be having three pointers one is this pointer the left pointers it indicates all elements behind it are zero and in starting there is no element so it is at zeroth index and this is the right pointer which indicates all elements after it are two so in starting there is no element behind it because we are just starting and this is a red arrow which will traverse the array and now we will do what we discuss in our algorithm so the first element is 0 so our left pointer get an element which is 0 so we will increment it what does this mean this means that elements behind it are zero so you can see this is the pointer and element this is zero now we will be traverse to the next second element uh, it is one so we didn't discuss about anything regarding one so we will continue we will skip that part and we will jump to the next element again it is one so we will again jump now we go to zero so where will you place a zero think for a second we will obviously place this zero at this position so how we will put it here we will just put it put this element at the index at which this arrow points so we will do that we have swept the element now our this pointer get an element which is 0 so we should increment it now we will keep traversing our red pointer so again it is 1 so we will continue now we get 2 so where we will put 2 at the right end so we will put 2 at here so how will we do we will just swap this element with the index at which this arrow points. Now this pointer which indicates element after it are 2 got one element. So we will move it. Now we will again keep traversing our red pointer. It's 1. So we will continue. Now it is 2. So where will you put this 2? Obviously at here. At this index. So we will traverse this second element with the index at which this arrow points. Now this pointer got an element. So we will move it. Now you can see the red pointer is at 0 now. So what is the correct position for 0? Uh, it will come here. So how we will do this? We gonna swap it. 
and since this pointer got an element so we will increment it so uh, this is one and we will continue now again we got zero so what do you think will be the correct position for zero you can take your time or also you can pause the video and come back to see what will be its correct position i hope you must have thought of its correct position and its correct position will be here and how we will put it we will just wrap it with the index at which this pointer points so we gonna swap it this pointer got an element so we will increment it since the red pointer points to one so we will continue now again the same case we are at zero so we will put it here by swapping we got an element so we will increment this and we will also continue from here because we got one uh, now our red pointers is uh, ahead of this pointer which indicates two that means after that all elements are two so there is no point of traversing in that so we will stop here uh, let's see this pseudo code to get you a more understanding of it we have this dnf function which accepts an array nums and we have two pointers one is low and one is high low is the pointer which have all elements behind it zero and high is the pointer such that all elements after it are two and i is our traversal pointer which will traverse the array we will traverse the array if we got a value equals to zero we need to put it at the left end and so for that we gonna swap it with the pointer which uh, takes care of all the elements behind it zero that is low and after that we got an element so we will increment that and also we increment this i plus plus and if it is two so we will swap it with the last index that is i index and we will decrement i minus minus because we got an element and we will not do i plus plus because after swapping we may got zero and using that zero we need to put it at the left hand that's why and if we got one so we will just continue we will not do anything and this loop will run until i is less than equals to high why because after high all elements are two so there is no point of traversing in two like we are just traversing in the elements which we already know are two and are at correct position so there is no point of traversing that so this was dnf sort thanks for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe to view more content like this